This is a brief overview of using Opposing Viewpoints, a library database that you have access to as a College of Alameda student. Why would you want to use Opposing Viewpoints? Well, this is a great database um, if you have an assignment or a project where you need to take a stand on a particular issue and argue for or against that issue. So we'll take a look at some examples, but this can be a really helpful resource. So to get to it, I'm on the College of Alameda homepage. And if you select Library, Library homepage, scroll down a bit, you'll see Chat with Librarian, Article Databases, and Library Catalog. This is an article database, so you'll select Article Databases. Here are listed all of the databases that you have access to as a College of Alameda student. So as you scroll down, you'll see there is a section for pro-con arguments and then a link to opposing viewpoints. So it will prompt you to log in with your Peralta password, Peralta ID and password. So select COA student and do that. And here's what Opposing Viewpoints looks like. It is a Gale database, which is the uh, name of the publisher or the provider of this database. If you scroll down, you'll see some issues of interest. So you can get some ideas for potential topics or issues um, you might want to explore. There are more issues. These are generally things that are in the news or um, there's a lot of interest in them and discussion about them. And then you can see all issues in this database by selecting Browse Issues. If I scroll down a bit, we'll take a look at an example. So if I select one topic, here's my overview. So this provides a broad overview, background information about this issue. As I scroll down, you'll see there are some featured viewpoints. These are like opinion pieces by different authors or writers in different um, magazines or newspapers. There are scholarly academic journal articles that talk about certain elements of an issue. You may also see some biographies, audio clips, websites, more viewpoints or opinion pieces, news items, images, reference materials for background information, videos, and statistics. So I'm going to take a look at a particular article. This is a academic journal article. Here's the journal name. Here are the authors, the year of publication. As I scroll down a bit, you can translate this article into different languages. You can also have it read to you. You can also have it read to you. A class for itself on the worldviews of the new tech elite. And then if you decide this is something you want to use or explore more, you can print it, download this article, email it to yourself, save it to Google, uh, Microsoft OneDrive or Google Drive. Here's what the article looks like, the number of headings. Scroll down a bit more, some references. and then options for creating your own reference for this article from these computer generated references. So you just want to double check that these are accurate and then you should be good to go to use them. Take a look at one more item. This is a viewpoint essay, so it has article commentary, and it's a little bit briefer. 
On the right-hand side, you can explore more topics like this or related subjects. And so that's opposing viewpoints. So I hope that's helpful. If you have questions, as always, please reach out to us. We're always happy to chat with you about your projects and assignments. Thanks so much. Take care.